Bruce Duesweta from Pantera Aquatic Ecosystems, and I'm here today at the Pace Water Facility to talk about our Aquaponics System 800 with Dr. Jason Danaher. For those that don't know what aquaponics is, can you give us a brief overview? Sure, Bruce. Aquaponics is the culture of fish and plants in the same system. We feed the fish, they create a waste uh, that's of no benefit to them, so we're able to filter that wastewater and distribute it over to the plants that can benefit from it. They take up some of the nutrients that remains, clean the water, and then it goes back to the plants. So let's start at the tanks and walk through the rest of the system. Sure. The round design is really nice for aquaculture purposes because what we can do is we can distribute the water and create a flow that basically creates a circular motion in the tank and concentrates all the solids to our center drain. Making the extraction of those solids more efficient? Much more efficient compared to uh, square tanks. And what kind of fish do we have in the tank today? Well, right now we have Nile tilapia that are in the tank. Uh, these fish are commonly grown around the world, probably the second most cultured fish around the world at the moment. Commonly grown for not only aquaculture purposes, but also aquaponics. And what's the next phase from this system? Once the return, uh, water exits through the bottom drain, where does it go next? That water is going to be directed towards our filtration over here, which we can go take a look at. So we're at the filtration side of the system. From the bottom drains, Jason, where does the water go to? Sure, we direct all the water from the bottom drains into the sump. And that water that contains the solids will all be collected here. And then from the sump, the pump will distribute that water through our uh, filtration skid here. The water will be go into our bead filter where the solids are removed. And then we have the option of sending the water over to our UV unit to further uh, process and, and remove pathogens where the water will then flow out to our LSB. And from here, the water goes to the plant beds. Uh, some of the water actually goes to the plant beds and some of it, and most of it will return right to the fish tanks. Okay, great. So last but not least, let's go over to the plant beds. Okay. We started at the fish tanks, we went through filtration, and now we're at the plant beds. Each plant bed can do about uh, 30 to 35 plants. So you're looking at 60 to 70 plants in total. And how much would that turn into annually? Uh, you're probably looking at around uh, 650 plants. And I noticed there's an aeration in the plant bed like it was in the fish tank. Yes, the plant roots that you can see growing here, they do require oxygen as well so that they can live and take up nutrients. So that's what the air stone's for. From the plant beds, where does the water go to next, Jason? Once the water's had enough time to pass from the top trough into the bottom trough, and the plants have taken up the nutrients, the water's gonna flow, but just by simple gravity, back to the fish tanks, and that's gonna complete the cycle of the system. Thank you. So what we've given you today is a complete overview of the Aquaponics System 800. For Dr. Jason Danaher, this is Brucey Sweta from Pentair Aquatic Ecosystems. For more information, visit pentairaes.com.